so I don't even have them on right now. So I'm just really popping on to just kind of fill you in on what has been done so far, okay? So y'all have kind of seen um, earlier, in an earlier clip y'all saw that I was kind of playing around with something. That something that I was playing around with was my um, wire. What I like to do is because I tend to use lots of um, larger items, like say for instance this big Christmas sign, um, like the little window yeah. and all, but I also turned off some of the Christmas lights, some of the tree lights. But um, basically y'all have kind of seen me moving around. I was playing with something earlier and that what I was, um, what I was doing was I was actually wiring my larger items. So anytime I have larger items, like the signage and all of that, I tend to wire it, um, put wire, just kind of weave the wire through, and wherever I can, you know, tie it on a tree branch, that's what I typically do to make sure that the signs do not fall out of the tree. So they are not just, you know, kind of sitting on there and I have to hope that I don't touch anything. So they are actually wired through all of the larger items. So that's typically what I start doing first. I go ahead and wire in all of those items. I then start to kind of add whatever ribbon I'm gonna add. So if you can't tell, I'm going for more of this um, farmhouse Christmas type thing. Um, so last year was my first year doing this particular theme. And this year I've decided to incorporate a little red, y'all, not too, too much of it though, okay? Because I'm one of those um, monochromatic people who like I can have everything the same color, okay? So when I do pops of color, it has to be a pop because red typically is not gonna go with what I have going on in the apartment um, as a whole. So I showed y'all these cuties um, in the at home shot with me haul. So hopefully you have watched that video. If not, I will definitely link it below. Um, but these, the only reason I have not um, added these to the tree just yet is because of the way that they're gonna hang in my mind. I kind of want to give them, you know, more of like that more of this look and not so much of like straight on, but I feel like these will be easy for me to kind of find a nice place for after I have, you know, added my ribbon and all of that and I'm still kind of thinking about where I wanna add it. But what I did wanna show you guys is the burlap ribbon that I use. Um, this ribbon is probably the best burlap ribbon I have found. Um, all of the other um, ribbon that has, like this one for instance. So this is a regular roll of jumbo wire ribbon. Y'all, it definitely has the burlap color, but it still wasn't doing it for me when it came to like that actual barn house feel. So this one came from, I didn't buy this one this year, but I'm pretty certain it came from Hobby Lobby, um, as did this one. This one also came from Hobby Lobby, and y'all, I just absolutely love it because it really gives you that true barn house burlap feel. So um, I was also organizing a few pieces of ribbon that was already cut. Y'all probably saw that. 
Typically, I just buy new ribbon every year, but I didn't buy any of the black and white plaid um, this year, so I definitely wanted to use those. And because I was also using the same burlap ribbon from last year, I went ahead and I found a place for those pieces. So now you're going to see me weave this on into the tree now. But I also have a red ribbon, well, which is more like a nice maroon. And this one just has like really delicate writing on it. So I absolutely love it. Drink and be merry, eat, yo, eat, drink and be merry. So that's what this one says. You really can't even see the cursive writing on it, but y'all, it is so pretty. So I'm just gonna continue weaving more ribbon in the tree and I will honestly say this. Um, this particular tip is for people who do not have um, like a ton of ornaments. Ornaments may not be everybody's thing. So, I mean, I know it's, 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 very expensive when you start to think about oh i want to buy like a whole lot of ornaments and, and really fill in my tree you know how you see some trees and you're like man it looks so nice and full you can honestly accomplish that same look without having to go out and buy hundreds of dollars worth of ornaments you could easily use ribbon if you want it to have more of a fuller look going on, but you're more on a budget. Um, honestly, places like Hobby Lobby, Michaels, um, those are probably my main places that I'm gonna go to when I'm looking for ribbon. Um, simply because you can always find 50% off sales there. So honestly, if you want to have a fuller tree, something that's gonna give you more of a, an accomplished look, that's it. If you're looking for more of an accomplished look, what that simply means is a, like you finished your tree and you didn't run out of stuff before you finish, but you don't have money to go buy more stuff. No, you can easily accomplish those things with just ribbon alone, okay? So definitely keep that in mind when y'all are starting to decorate. If you don't have as many ornaments as you would like, simply go for ribbon and it will, it will get the job done. So I'm gonna kind of speed up and go ahead and finish adding ribbon. I'm next going to start and I may not even do much of this tonight, but I'm probably gonna start incorporating a few things of, um, a few ornaments in between as well. That may be like a continuation, but at least I might get started with it tonight. So hopefully the ribbon tip has, um, has it's been useful to somebody because again, we all look at people's trees like, oh my gosh, that's so full, that's so gorgeous. But you know, usually Christmas decorations are not decorations that you go out and buy one year. Well, I don't have the money to go out and change a whole thing. If you do, kudos, but I don't. So usually I kind of just build upon things from year to year. So, um, all right, just watch me finish off the ribbon and then I will be back
y'all. So here I am, I'm over here in the living room area. It is complete, complete chaos. But um, hopefully by end of week, I will be in a livable space. Um, so as I told y'all earlier, um, when it comes to everything I've done on the tree so far, um, I pretty much just, uh, I've wired in all of the larger items, and of course when I say larger items, I'm referring to like all of my signage. Um, you have the little windmills, I have a couple of those in there. I uh, got some present boxes, uh, glitter present boxes. I have a little bit more um, signage as well um, here, so keep in mind, you know, if you have small children, of course you don't want to throw in these large signs without making sure that they have been like really secured. So this is just like a sneak peek though, y'all. So I'm definitely not done. There are no ornaments on the tree at this point. Um, that uh, little, whatever it is, a little tin pail or whatever you want to call it. Um, I actually have wood that I bought to uh, put in there so y'all will see that when the finishing touches come around. Um, I did add a little something to uh, to Knucklehead's tree as well, y'all. So he has definitely told me already that this is for certain his tree, um, the big tree is my tree, and then his mama got just a little old bitty rinky dink something, but you know, she lucky she got that with the spirit that she has. Um, Okay, so table-wise, I'm not really sure uh, how I want to fully decorate the table at this point, but I do know that this uh, here, this wooden tray, I usually have it in my makeshift, um, in my makeshift bar area here, but uh, I ain't got no alcohol anyway, so I'm gonna use this for uh, the dining table for sure. So rather than using my um, marble, um, rather than using my marble, um, y'all look at this kitchen just stuff everywhere. Um, but rather than using this marble tray that I used last year, um, I'm going to make sure I use this one instead because I just feel like really close to the tree, this is really gonna look nice. Uh, I did pick up a sleigh today that I have not shown y'all because honestly when I went into um, Hobby Lobby today, it was really just to return a couple of items. So I, I had my large train last year, but this year I'm just gonna use a smaller sleigh. I have a couple things that I'm gonna put in there. Um, of course, y'all know I have my tic-tac-toe that's more of like the wooden look. Hold on, let me get that. So the tic-tac-toe that I am, I bought this one last year at Kirkland. So this is the one that I usually use for um, Christmas. Uh, 